Hello everyone. So in this video, we are going to talk about CAT score versus percentile. Uh, in my hand, I have this board which mentioned the percentile and the scores, right? Uh, this is on the basis of the previous year's data and cutoff. So guys, as per the last year, if you are if you want to get 99.5 percentile, the total score that you need is 109, right? And that is the 36 is the number of question that you do that you need to do correct. Now, 36 question in three section to get 99.5 percentile. That means if you can just manage one section with 14 to 16 question, your tasks become very, very easy. That one section where you're supposed to attempt 14 to 16 questions can be quant, can be DLR, can be VARC. That completely depends on your strength area. So if you can manage one section with 12 to 14 questions, uh, with 14 to 16 questions, the rest of the two sections, you have to attempt only 10 to 12 questions. And that's it. You're through with the total percentile of 99.5. And now you can see that at 99, to get yourself to 99 percentile, that score that is required is 98. So to get extra 0 0.5, the number of questions required are extra 4. So to get a jump of 0 0.5 percentile in your score, you need to attempt 4 extra questions. Now, 32 question guys, one section with 12 questions and another two sections with 10 questions each can get yourself to 99 percent. It's so easy. The 99 percent task seems to be very, very easy. 12 questions in one section and 10 questions in 10 question in the rest of the two sections is not a difficult task at all. And if you look at 97, that's even more easy. 97 percent is just 27 questions. A score of 82 is giving you 97 percent, guys, right? 27 questions, 9 questions from individual section and that's it. Now, if you have prepared yourself for the CAT exam, 9 questions is not difficult, guys. You need to understand that every CAT exam have some easy, some moderate and some difficult question. Even if you target easy set of questions, I don't, I don't think 97 would be a difficult task. And then if you look at 95%, that just requires you 8, 24 questions to solve. That again, reduced down to 8 questions in one individual section. If you have one strength area where you can attempt 12 questions, rest of two sections, you have to just attempt six to seven questions. That's it. You are through with the 95. Less than 95, I would not ask you to even think about it, right? See, guys, right? If you have given one year, six months, seven months for your CAT exam preparation, and 95 requires you to solve only 24 questions, that's a very, very easy task. Just take one section where you can get 10 to 12 questions, the rest of two sections can be six to seven and you're through the 95%, right? For good B school, you should not be thinking less than 95 percentile because 24 question is a very, very easy task for you. And keep this data in your mind and accordingly plan your strategy, attempt the number of questions, keeping these the number of questions in your mind and pick the easy question first, then the moderate and then the difficult. Divide your uh, attempt uh, in mock paper as well as the final paper in three different phases. Phase one easy, phase two moderate, phase three difficult, right? I'm sure if you go for easy and moderate, nobody can stop you to get 99. Easy and moderate will definitely cover 32 questions. There might be four or five extra high level of difficulty questions that you might have to attempt. Take yourself to 90. Keep this data in mind. This is going to be very, very important for you to decide the number of questions that you should be attempting. Get yourself to the score of 99. Thank you. Subscribe the channel for more updates.